<clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, stream from your Xbox One to your Windows 10 laptop, PC, or tablet in any location. Um, now you will have to do a little homework uh, because you have to get access to the admin page of your router. See, I have an Asus router. And I'm on my admin page. And you want to, once you're there, you may need to Google it. Maybe, uh, like, Google the name of your router. Um, if you Google the name of the router, it give you the instructions on how to get to your admin page. But if you need help, you know, just uh, reach up, you know, reach out in the comments. And I'll, I'll help you uh, get the, the IP address uh, so you can access that uh, admin page of your router. And, uh you know enable port 40 um, a couple things though you want to make sure that your Xbox one it has to be on so if you're leaving out of town or you're going somewhere else and you want to play your Xbox one from a remote location your Xbox one has to be on um, at home but uh you want to make sure that port forwarding is enabled see that's yes um, what's really important are these three that say Xbox one X now this will work with the Xbox one Xbox One S or the Xbox One X, it doesn't matter. But you want to make sure these three ports are open. So 50 50, 48 38, and this is going to be a range. You're going to either, either use a hyphen or a colon. You see, mine uses a colon. It's from 49,000 to 65,000. Um, all right, now here where it says local IP, where it says local IP, that's going to be the IP address, address <clears throat> the IP address of your Xbox One. So in order to find that, you're going to need to turn on your Xbox and you want to go to settings uh, network the network settings you want to go to advanced settings and then your IP address will be listed there as you can see mine is 192.168.1.201 that's the IP address that my router has assigned my Xbox all right and as we can see that's the IP address that's being allowed uh, port forwarding protocol TCP UDP you want both either it's gonna say both or it's gonna say TCP uh, slash UDP so you want to make sure both are, are selected So got it. So just to recap, the service name doesn't matter. It's just a label. Port range, it has to be exact. 5050, 4838, 49,000, 65,000 is the range. Um, local IP address is what's listed on your Xbox One. Yours is going to be different from mine, but it's that top number you see right there, IP address. 192.168.1.201. Local port, we can leave that blank. Protocol is going to be both or TCP slash UDP. It depends on your router, but you want to make sure both are selected. All right, and you're good to go. I mean, that's all you need for port forwarding. Now, um, now what you want to do is open the Xbox app. Uh, make sure you're signing to your profile. You're going to hit connections and then add a device. Now, this is important. So, when you're not on your home network, your Xbox One is not going to show here. So, you're going to have to enter the IP address, your home IP address. This is something you're going to need before you leave the house. So, what you want to do is make sure you have a computer connected uh, to your home router or to your home network. And you want to pull up Google and you want to type in. I got Google Chrome, so I could just type it in the address bar. But you want to type is what is my home or what is my IP address or my home IP address. I'm not going to do it because that's something you want to keep private. You don't want everybody to know what your IP address is. It does change if you have a, a dynamic uh, DNS. <clears throat> but uh, people can do a lot with your IP address, so I'm not going to showcase mine. But 
what I would do a search for it. It's going to pop up on the Google search. It's going to say your IP address is so and so. I will write it down. And then when I'm out and about, you know, to make sure my Xbox is on, uh, you may want to turn energy saving mode off. Um, keep instant mode on. Turn off any uh, auto shutdown features. That way your Xbox stays on. And you want to pull up this Xbox app. And that IP address that you got from Google Chrome, this is where you're listed, right here. Once you do it, it's going to give you options. It's going to say test streaming or streaming. You want to select streaming. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. And it works. I, do, I use it all the time. But if you got any further questions, feel uh, free to hit me up in the comment. You know, ask your questions there. I answer it the best way I can. I'll follow up with another video if, uh, you know, if you're having trouble with it. Um, appreciate you rocking out with me. Y'all take care.